Good evening and welcome to Weekending Sports and a fourth straight loss for our national cricketers. Top sports tonight and uh, the team not doing so well over in Italy struggling today against a team that they should have beaten quite easily. Nepal came and bowled out for just 69 when they batted and uh, Nepal easily overhauling the target. There's captain Said Mohammed uh, disappointed after being dismissed today not scoring much runs. Pearson Best also the, our best batsman on the team not getting a good day today at all. Came on struggling against a team that they got the better of a few years ago and were expected to beat. So the national team has been relegated to Division 5 in the ICC Division table. Uh, Cayman still has one more game left at the tournament against Argentina tomorrow. But national coach Theo Coffey found the silver lining in the team's struggles. We have the talent, uh, but we need to package it better. Um, our whole program at home needs to be changed um, simply because um, we are definitely an amateur grouping. Uh, we need to find ways and means how we can expose our youngsters to a higher level of cricket prior to coming to tournaments like these. We'll hear more from Coach Theo Coffey later on in the program at Cayman 27 tonight with me and April Cummings talking about the team's struggles in Italy and moving forward. Moving on, no individual titles for Cayman's senior squash team at the Caribbean Championships in St. Vincent and the Grenadines this week. Barbadian Karen Meekins and Guyana's Richard Chin are the new Caribbean champions in the team play. Cayman struggles continue against the rest of the Caribbean. The regional championships wrap up tomorrow in SVG. So it's been another busy week in sports the last seven days with several of our athletes competing around the world. Let's take this time now to bring you up to speed on what's been happening at home and abroad in case you missed it. We start at home with the Wolves' victory in the men's Division I basketball finals, beating the Warriors three games to one to lift their second straight trophy. This is a great feeling, really good, really good. The guys came out, we played hard, we stuck to our game plan, and this is what happened, we come victorious. Most valuable player Gary McLaughlin carries his team to the title. On the road, the national men's cricket team had mixed fortunes in Italy, winning against Argentina, but suffered three straight losses to the United States, Tanzania, and the home team. In Singapore, Seiji Groom, Lara Butler, and Elizabeth Wauchop compete in the Youth Olympics. Both Seiji and Lara lower their personal bests in the pool, while Elizabeth holds her own in the water in the girls' bike class sailing events. In the pool, Sean and Brett Fraser compete at the Pan Pacific Championships in California. In the absence of Usain Bolt and Asafa Powell, American Tyson Gay shows he's the main man in the sprint, winning the 100 meters in London in the season's fastest time, 9.78 seconds. Get away cleanly, and it's a good start from Tyson Gay. It's an excellent start. He's away from all the dicks alongside him. Richard Thompson is coming, and Blake's trying to get into it. Dix is injured, but Gay wins it. So look at that! 9.78 into a headwind. That is an all-comers record. At the same meet, our own Sedona Mothersill was fourth in the women's 200 meters as the Diamond League season winds down. That's it for sports this week. And for our Premier League fans, we're talking football champions. Chelsea tried to keep their win winning formula in the new season against Wigan tomorrow. In other key matchups, Arsenal face Blackpool. On Sunday, Manchester United tackle Fulham and Aston Villa meet Newcastle. Some nine Premier League matches on this weekend. Tune in to West Star Cable, Fox Soccer Channel and Sportsmax for all the live coverage from tomorrow morning early for all your football fans.